The rights of an embryo to live or die. Few topics incite such divided opinion as the abortion debate. And few countries are as polarized by the issue as the United States. The shocking murder of a prominent abortion provider, Dr. George Tiller, in 2009, escalated tensions. And it was one of the most contentious issues in the U.S. administration's efforts to pass health care reform. At the forefront of the militant wing of the anti-abortion argument is Reverend Michael Bray, an evangelical minister from Ohio. Bray served four years in prison for his role in the bombing of ten clinics where abortions were provided. But may God bless all the unborn babies. In a book, A Time to Kill, Bray argues that the Bible justifies the killing of doctors who help to terminate pregnancies. A controversial man with a controversial platform, Michael Bray is our connector of the day. Well, it is a highly emotional issue. It's an emotive issue. You sent in loads and loads of questions, and it's clear our connector of the day's viewpoint um, makes a lot of you angry. I earlier put your questions to Reverend Michael Bray, and I began by asking him about his time in prison and whether that had in any way changed his view. This is what he said. No, there was no change in, in my thinking. Uh, the, as I would say, the truth remains the truth. Um, uh, and protecting the unborn is, with, even with the use of force, uh, cannot be condemned. The majority are quite enraged by the topic, by you, and frankly, uh, by us bringing you on. We do not, though, apologise for having you on, uh, but I will certainly reflect, I hope, in the questions that I put to you, some of what we are hearing online. First off, from Lee, he points out what many others on the blog uh, point out, and that is the hypocrisy of your actions and says that you advocate the message of pro-life and yet commit crimes that have and could kill innocent people. Explain yourself, if you will. Let me d uh, define myself as anti-abortion in this case. Um, I'm not for uh, preserving the life of, of, uh, of aggressors. Um, I'm not for defending the life and preserving the life and protecting the life of those who have committed capital crimes or those who engage in, uh, in war, uh, unjust war. Or the, taking on the, the, uh, the perspective or the uh, role of the enemy. Given your, uh, the fact that you spent time in prison for conspiracy to blow up abortion clinics, you're, you're an aggressor yourself, aren't you? Of course, I would see the aggressor in this case as the one who uh, is uh, uh, taking the life of the unborn. And, of course, the one who, who protects there a difference? the innocent. Sorry, sorry Michael, is... is there a difference? Is there a difference? You were put inside for conspiracy to blow up abortion clinics. You don't see that as an aggressive act? It's an act of protection, an act of defence. Luis points to the murder of prominent abortion doctor George Tiller, and I know that you actually congratulated the convicted murder on his acts in an open letter to him. He asks, does a murder like this only exacerbate the feelings of hatred that so many people feel towards anti-abortion advocates? If you were of that perspective, you would be upset by the one who is, who is uh, taking such action. Um, uh, I don't know if that's the main concern, though. I mean, he's essentially pointing out that violence like this is further alienating your cause. On the other hand, it may highlight the, the, the truth that we have here. The, 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 the man obviously acted very concerned about uh, the unborn, and uh, that should be the question. Why would a man do such a thing? Uh, and you can either say he's a lunatic or he takes seriously the life of the unborn and the humanity of the child. Anvish says that he is also against abortion and asks, what gives you the right to do God's work and why don't you leave people's fates till the judgment day? Well, I think the judgment day uh, takes into account what we do down here and what we do to the innocents for the sake of the innocent ones and those who are threatened with death. And so I, it could very well be that, that uh, uh, Scott Roeder had those things in mind when he uh, performed his act of what I would call service. If somebody came into your home, and, I, and God forbid it happened, but somebody came into your home, as you say, that would be an aggressive act, and was to rape one of uh, the female members of your family, uh, you would still be against abortion, would you? Yes, I would still be against that, yes. Have you spoken the to the female would, members uh, of your family about that, and do they agree with you? Yes, they do. Mm. A, a child is a child, however he is produced. How far would you be prepared to go, or are you prepared to go, to pursue your views and to ensure uh, the right to life going forward? It's a question that has been asked by our viewers, uh, sort of across the board. 
I write about it. I, uh, I advocate for prisoners. Um, uh, that's what I've chosen to do. Uh, would you um, pursue an act that would put you in prison again, do you think? Oh, I, I could ethically. I have no such plans.